Introduction Neurological disorders are a broad category of medical conditions that affect the nervous system, including the brain, spinal cord, and peripheral nerves. These disorders can have a significant impact on a patient's quality of life and require specialized medical attention. In this lecture, we will focus on one specific neurological disorder, hypertensive encephalopathy. Hypertensive encephalopathy is a rare but serious condition that arises due to uncontrolled high blood pressure. It can lead to various neurological symptoms, ranging from mild confusion and headache to severe seizures and coma. Understanding the pathophysiology, clinical presentation, diagnostic evaluation, differential diagnosis, management strategies, neuroimaging findings, complications, risk factors, prognosis, primary versus secondary causes, pregnancy-induced cases, and recent research and advances in hypertensive encephalopathy is crucial for medical professionals in providing optimal patient care. Let's explore each of these topics in more detail. Hypertensive encephalopathy occurs as a result of severe hypertension, which leads to endothelial dysfunction, disruption of blood-brain barrier integrity, and cerebral autoregulatory dysfunction. Elevated blood pressure causes arteriolar contraction and cerebral vasoconstriction, reducing cerebral blood flow. As a compensatory mechanism, the brain's autoregulatory response dilates the vessels to maintain blood supply. However, persistent hypertension overwhelms the autoregulatory capacity, leading to decreased cerebral perfusion and the development of hypertensive encephalopathy. Furthermore, endothelial injury caused by chronic hypertension triggers an inflammatory response, promoting the release of vasoconstrictors and impairing the vasodilatory mechanisms. This further exacerbates the cerebral circulation compromise, leading to neuronal injury and edema formation. The resulting brain edema contributes to the clinical manifestations observed in hypertensive encephalopathy. The clinical presentation of hypertensive encephalopathy can vary widely depending on the severity and duration of hypertension. Common symptoms include severe headache, confusion, altered mental status, visual disturbances, seizures, and focal neurological deficits such as hemiparesis or aphasia. In severe cases, coma or even death may occur. It is important to note that the symptoms of hypertensive encephalopathy often overlap with other neurological conditions. Therefore, a thorough evaluation is crucial for accurate diagnosis and appropriate management. The diagnostic evaluation of hypertensive encephalopathy involves a comprehensive assessment to exclude other potential causes of neurological symptoms. Initial laboratory tests may include a complete blood count, renal function tests, liver function tests, coagulation profile, and serum electrolytes. These tests help assess end organ damage and evaluate for possible underlying conditions contributing to hypertension. Imaging studies, such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, and computed tomography, CT, are essential in evaluating the brain for signs of edema, ischemia, or hemorrhage. MRI is particularly useful in assessing the extent of cerebral edema and identifying any associated lesions. Additionally, continuous monitoring of blood pressure is vital to assess the severity of hypertension and guide management decisions. In clinical practice, it is crucial to differentiate hypertensive encephalopathy from other conditions with similar presentations. The differential diagnosis may include conditions such as stroke, intracranial hemorrhage, brain tumors, meningitis, encephalitis, metabolic disturbances, intoxication, and other primary and secondary causes of hypertension. A careful analysis of the patient's history, physical examination findings, and imaging studies can help narrow down the differential diagnosis and guide further management decisions. The management of hypertensive encephalopathy involves a multifaceted approach to control blood pressure, reduce cerebral edema, and prevent complications. The primary goal is to lower blood pressure gradually while avoiding cerebral hypoperfusion. The pharmacological management typically includes the use of intravenous antihypertensive medications, such as labetalol or nicardipine, to achieve controlled blood pressure reduction. In severe cases, continuous monitoring in an intensive care unit may be necessary to ensure optimal management and close observation. Non-pharmacological measures, including lifestyle modifications, such as dietary sodium restriction, regular exercise, and weight management, are essential in long-term blood pressure control. Additionally, close follow-up and monitoring of blood pressure and end-organ damage are crucial to assess treatment response and adjust management strategies accordingly. Neuroimaging studies play a crucial role in the evaluation of hypertensive encephalopathy. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI, is the preferred imaging modality due to its superior sensitivity in detecting cerebral edema and associated brain lesions. MRI findings in hypertensive encephalopathy typically show bilateral edema in the white matter predominantly in the posterior cerebral regions. 
These regions include the occipital lobes, parietal lobes, and posterior temporal lobes. The pattern of edema is often described as a flame-shaped or watershed distribution, reflecting regions of increased vulnerability to ischemic injury due to impaired blood flow autoregulation. In some cases, neuroimaging studies may reveal signs of underlying cerebrovascular disease or other structural abnormalities contributing to hypertension or hypertensive complications. Hypertensive encephalopathy can lead to various complications if not promptly managed. These complications may include ischemic stroke, intracerebral hemorrhage, seizures, visual disturbances, cognitive impairment, and even death. The severity and duration of hypertension, as well as the adequacy and timeliness of management, are crucial factors in determining the likelihood and extent of such complications. Early recognition and intervention can help prevent or minimize the risk of complications associated with hypertensive encephalopathy. Several risk factors predispose individuals to the development of hypertensive encephalopathy. Chronic uncontrolled hypertension is the primary risk factor. Other contributing factors may include non-compliance with antihypertensive medication or treatment, underlying kidney disease, obesity, excessive alcohol consumption, and high dietary sodium intake. It is essential to identify these risk factors and address them through patient education, lifestyle modifications, and appropriate management strategies to prevent the development or recurrence of hypertensive encephalopathy. The prognosis of hypertensive encephalopathy largely depends on the severity and duration of hypertension, the presence of end organ damage, and the adequacy and timeliness of management. With prompt and effective control of blood pressure, most patients experience significant improvement in symptoms and neurological deficits. However, in severe cases with extensive cerebral edema or complications such as intracranial hemorrhage, the prognosis may be guarded, and long-term neurological sequelae may occur. Hypertensive encephalopathy can arise from both primary, essential, and secondary, secondary to other underlying conditions, causes of hypertension. Primary hypertension refers to hypertension without a specific identifiable cause, accounting for the majority of cases. Secondary hypertension, on the other hand, results from an underlying condition or medication that contributes to the elevated blood pressure. Understanding the distinction between primary and secondary hypertension is essential in guiding management decisions and identifying potential underlying causes that may require specific treatment or intervention. Pregnancy-induced hypertensive encephalopathy is a unique manifestation of hypertensive encephalopathy that occurs during pregnancy, typically in association with preeclampsia or eclampsia. These are hypertensive disorders specific to pregnancy that can lead to significant maternal and fetal complications. The management of pregnancy-induced hypertensive encephalopathy involves a multidisciplinary approach, including obstetricians, neurologists, and other involved specialists. Strict blood pressure control, monitoring of fetal well-being, and timely delivery are crucial components of management to optimize maternal and fetal outcomes. Ongoing research on hypertensive encephalopathy focuses on understanding its pathogenesis, identifying novel therapeutic targets, improving diagnostic accuracy, and evaluating long-term outcomes. Advances in neuroimaging techniques, such as functional MRI and diffusion tensor imaging, have provided valuable insights into the underlying cerebral changes associated with hypertensive encephalopathy. Additionally, research efforts aim to improve the understanding of the relationship between hypertensive encephalopathy and other comorbid conditions, such as chronic kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, and cerebrovascular disease. These investigations may facilitate the development of targeted interventions and personalized treatment approaches in the future. In conclusion, hypertensive encephalopathy is a potentially life-threatening condition characterized by brain dysfunction resulting from uncontrolled hypertension. It requires a comprehensive understanding of its pathophysiology, clinical presentation, diagnostic evaluation, management strategies, neuroimaging findings, complications, risk factors, prognosis, and the distinction between primary and secondary causes. Advancements in research continue to enhance our understanding and management approaches for this challenging neurological disorder. By ensuring early recognition, prompt management, and long-term blood pressure control, healthcare providers can enhance patient outcomes and improve overall quality of life.